Monty Python star John Cleese compares former President Donald Trump to Nazi party leader Funny Mustache Guy in a bizarre social media post. This story comes from Josh Berger over at bounding into comics. Now, throughout this article, I am going to be choosing my words a little carefully, uh, because bounding into comics isn't limited the way that YouTube is, and I can't say certain names and phrases on YouTube that ordinarily or otherwise exist in this article. You'll have to forgive me. The, the tone that I'm going to use is somewhat comedic here, and if you're offended by that, that's not my intention. I truly just want to minimize the kind of insanity that Mr. Cleese has unleashed onto the world. Anyway, the article from Josh goes like this. Legendary comedian John Cleese, best known for his many roles in Monty Python, has made a bizarre social media post comparing former President Donald Trump to the Nazi party leader, M Funny Mustache Guy. Labeling as literal-minded those who call him out on his rather tasteless comparison. Quote, five ways that funny mustache guy was preferable to Trump. Cleese prefaced before going over a list of qualities that he believes the Nazi leader has over Trump. Namely, that he fought for his country. Uh, quote, uh, fought for his country, and, quote, never used a teleprompter, quote, he was nice to dogs, quote, he wrote in his own books, quote, he never played golf, quote, he wasn't a big fat slob. To counter his own argument, the comedian then went on to list the qualities he deems places uh, Trump's above the Austrian-born dictator, writing, quote, five ways Trump is preferable to Hitler, adding, quote, he doesn't practice Mass rootin' tootin's. And he has nicer hair. Making sure to point out that the 45th president is still missing another three items in his qualities list. As you can see here, this is the tweet, if you're looking at the screen. Uh, again, like as it says, as said above by, by Josh, this lists uh, six qualities in which funny mustache guy, in Mr. Cleese's opinion, is preferable to former President Trump. And uh, five ways Mr. Trump is preferable to Funny Mustache Guy, in which Mr. Cleese only lists two qualities. Ha ha, ho ho, he he, so funny. Mm -hmm. The Monty Python star is currently getting some backlash from other users on X, who have expressed their disappointment in the unusual comparison drawn by Cleese, which has left people scratching their heads wondering whether he's joking or not. That's a face you make when you're totally serious about your funny mustache guy jokes, right? Quote, I feel only sadness for you now, wrote one disappointed user in the comment section of the comedian's inflammatory post. Another user wrote, quote, this is not a good take at all, unquote. Another user, using expletives, said, holy S-word, prefaced another comment further inquiring, why would you write this? That's right. Another user again points this out and says, quote, if you find yourself looking for good qualities in Funny Mustache Guy to justify your hatred of another human, then you might be a bad person in this scenario. Hmm. It's a good, uh, another thing here. Here comes another user of X that's not happy with Mr. Cleese's joke saying, quote, it seems like you're saying that you prefer Funny Mustache Guy to Trump, FYI, noted uh, Lotus Eaters founder and political commentator Carl Benjamin. You might know him as Sargon of Akkad. Mm -hmm. Again, another Brit, right? Another Englishman who would have the right to say, hey man, this isn't how we do things. Like Benjamin pointed out, the Post does suggest that Cleese prefers the Nazi leader to uh, President Trump. Be it a joke or not, the implication is there. The comedian mockingly addressed the backlash and apologized in a follow-up post and would later go on to reply to users who have commented on his post. And he says this, quote, I would like to apologize for my last tweet. It was a very bad joke, especially on Boxing Day. Right. So again, like the spirit of the holiday that's around right now, the day after Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ. This is when Mr. Cleese decides to bring his qualities to everyone's attention, his preferred qualities in a leader, that is, to everyone's attention. In response to an ex-user who reportedly took a screenshot of Cleese's tweet in the likely scenario he might end up deleting it, the comedian said, quote, Don't hold your breath. Receiving insults from the literal-minded is like being booed by a flock of sheep. 
it's interesting to me what he's implying here. Like, you can't take a joke. But this comparison is one of those ones where it's sort of like you're reaching for an offensive joke for the purpose of offending people. And quite clearly it has, with the mess we're seeing over with Gaza and the mess we're seeing here in the U.S. and around the world in response to those things. Now's not a really great time to go drawing comparisons in which a man who genocided a group of people is favorable to a man who simply posted mean tweets. I don't know, you fellas, let me know what you think. Ladies and fellas, excuse me, we're not exclusive around here. Let us know what you think down in the comments, and if you'd like to read more about this story, perhaps share it around, the link to the article will be down in the description. Feel free to let us know what you think about it, and Mr. Cleese, if for whatever reason you stumble across this video, I feel very sorry for you that you felt that was necessary.